Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show that makes you smile the most throughout the week. Hello. It's the You Gotta Be Freaking Kidding Me Show with your hosts, Jeff Leaf. Hello. And LG. LG, I love you. How you doing? I can't see you now. They got that new death specter. Well, you know, that's part of the thing. We don't want you seeing me, man, because they thought you were getting your uh, little bit of, you know, what do you call oh, it? Oh, the homo tender disease for you? Homo tender. Don't flatter yourself. You're not that good looking. I'm going to do a guy. It ain't going to be you. Sorry, pal. Just back off your mic just a hair, man. Okay, yeah, you're back off my mic. Pretend it's a cock. It's getting too close to your mouth, man. Uh, unless I talk like that. No, nah, that's a little bit faggish. You know that. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to StreamingSportsTalk.com. We're here live every Friday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give us a call if you're out and about, 216-672-4300. We got some laughs in store for you this evening, and nothing would be finer than for having you call in and share some of your own. You got to be freaking kidding me stories. Leif, what have you been doing all week, man? Uh, all week? Well, you know what? I've just been plugging away, you know, working and this and that. But, you know, since we have so many sponsors now with this and a lot of viewers, my paychecks come up a little bit here. I don't know. Did they give you a raise? Pretty soon you're going to not file your income taxes like Mitt Romney. Shh. Quiet. No, quiet. I didn't get no raise, man. You didn't get a raise? I didn't get no raise. Ooh, I did. They didn't tell me that. Uh-huh. I got a raise. Well, we're on the fourth floor. Pretty soon we can move up to the fifth floor. That'll be a raise. Hey, are you, you better not tell people where exactly we're at. But then again, I noticed getting off the freeway, we're lit up like a Christmas tree. You know, if people really get pissed off and don't like us, they can throw a bomb in here, no problem. Well, it doesn't matter where you're at these days, man. All you got to do is tell a couple of those Muslim jokes. You can be bombed anywhere, man. That's look at, right. Look what's going on in the world this week, man. Just it's some crazy. guy makes a video. Nobody even knows where this guy is that made the video. Nobody's doing anything to the guy that made the video. The funny part about the video is these freaking Muslims didn't even see the damn video. They only heard about it. And another funny part about it, it's like, okay, we're pissed off. Let's go ahead and blow up and burn down our own country. We're going to do that. We're gonna what about burn. your dope? Well, it's all the American shit that, uh, that was no, built in their no, own country. The, the, yeah, but it's their country. you know. And, and you know what? Like, I think I said it Built last on week. hollow ground. Uh, LG, I think I said it last week. What gets me, you know, uh, okay, we talked about, you know, oh, yeah, they could go ahead and blow up little babies and crap like that, and a film offends them. Oh, my God, strap on a pair of Are you kidding me, man? They, they, were, they were trying to make diapers with C4 in them. You <laughs> know what I mean? I better not Nothing they'd like better than to have a baby stroller bomb. Put the little infant in there yeah, and they, blow them up on the way into McDonald's or something. They, they, you know? don't, they don't give a shit. I tell you, the only thing sacred to them people is the hashish pipe. No, here's what. Here. <laughs> well, that is pretty sacred. The hashish pipe. <laughs> hashish? Hashish. I say you hashish, American man. Well, that's turkey. And right? we and we have we have. Oh yeah, turkey. Yeah, Lebanese. No, Lebanon. Lebanese blonde hash. Is that is that where it comes from? Yeah, it makes your eyes red just thinking about it. You notice ever since, you know, I don't know how long it's been, you don't hear no bullshit coming out of Lebanese, uh, Lebanon anymore. Yeah, it, it, it's... Remember it's, they were at war for years over there. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. Yep. Now they're smoking the hashish pipe and they're relaxed. They're all they're, mellowed out. That's that's probably what's really pissing off these terrorists. Oh. The American citizens and the uh, contractors over there in Afghanistan taking over the heroin fields. Well, you know what? I, would, I just thought of it. I wish I would have thought of it before we could have put the picture up there. There's a picture of a Marine with his weapon laying down in a bunch of pot plants, wherever, and the caption is, fuck war, let's smoke some weed. <laughs> there you go, man. That's they what stick... happened. They start smoking the hashish, they're all mellowed out. Now, I don't know if you're... stoned on dope, they don't want to mess around with anybody. I don't know if you saw the report earlier last week on the news or not, because I know you don't watch the news, Leaf. Well, I watch a li I've been but trying to watch a I little even... more doing this show. I don't even know who come up with this study, but they, they studied that the more pot you smoked, the more prone males are to testicular cancer. <laughs> So what? Let my balls fall off. I'm high. Who cares? When you're stoned, you don't care. You don't even feel the pain. Yeah. Your well, balls, then, well, your balls can roll out the bottom of your pant leg. You step on a son of a gun. 
and you won't even feel it. Well, from a previous show, it's better than a raccoon grabbing on to them. That's right, man. That's a, <laughs> that's a scary damn thought right there, man. Having well, a raccoon you know what, though? I, LG, attack I, your nuts. I believe, to, you know, well, getting on a pot subject, I don't smoke the shit anymore. And, uh, you know, but it, it's so tainted with so much crap. You know, I, I, I mean, I, I don't have any evidence or this or that. Tainted pot, I got I'm to change it. Get pot. me some, <laughs> I got to get me some of that tainted <laughs> pot tonight. Won't you just <laughs> tainted pot? I want me. What song are you doing that to? Tainted oh, shit. pot. What is it? Tainted love, right? Yeah, ta- tainted love. What exactly is the taint? I thought it was the little piece of land between the vagina and the rectum. No, that's called a chin rest. That's a taint. It's a chin rest. A taint vagina and a taint rectum. I told you, it's called a chin rest. Well, that's what most people use it for, man. Oh, well, yeah, right. I saw a new tool the other day on a magazine cover, believe it or not. It was okay. a chin-strapped dildo. So I don't know uh, where you put what? that. A, a, a chin strap with a dildo on the front of it. Oh, okay, so I'd like be on your mouth? No, it's below on your chin. I guess when you're licking the little man in the boat, the fucking clitoris, when you're when you right. when you're stimulating You can do the brown eye. When you stimuli the old clit, I guess you peck the pooper at the same time with your chin. You know, I, I'm just not into that. Anything do with a butthole? No. That's for pooping. I'm not into it either. It's no. an exit only. It yeah, says exactly. Exit only. They you know say it I mean? makes you half a fag even if you do it with a woman. Hey, listen to this, though. I'm listening. Speaking of buttholes. Buttholes. Oh, good. That brings me to the uh, politicians again this oh, week. Oh, jeez. Here we go again. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sure you heard about Mitt Romney slamming the 47% of Americans that he says are too lazy that want just handouts from the government. Right. And uh, they don't want to work. Well, what do you think? I think he's full of shit, man. I think these people would love to find a job if they could find a job. Forty, that's almost half the country, Jeff. Can you yeah, believe that, uh, yeah, Can you believe for one second that half the country is sitting on their ass and they don't want to work? Well, you know what? I believe half the country that is the working people, like ourselves, yeah, I don't want to work. I want to hit the lottery, kick back, and relax and do this show 24 hours a day. But that ain't going to happen, man. I know. It's not here, so ever- listen, I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now. Here's a typical thing, what Mitt Romney's really saying. I had some experts take apart the speech that Rip not, you know, Mitt Romney was secretly videotaped on. And what, you, you had some experts? Some experts. I, I gave it to some forensic video people this week. Man, I didn't know you were that big time. You know a lot of shit. Lot well, you know people. me, man. I've been around a few. Yeah, uh, I guess so. I thought I, I thought blocks, I was man. a made guy. But Romney is really saying, here he is, he's saying there's 47% of the people, look, he's pointing, you, he's pointing at you, Leaf. you don't want to work, you just want to have free government handouts. And what Romney's really saying by that is, please elect me as your president, I think 47% of the American people aren't having enough sex. Once I get into office, I will screw you royally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think you're fucked now? But Watch this. <laughs> that's what the forensic experts analyzed this truly meant on the videotape. 47% of the American public is not having enough sex, so elect Mitt Romney so he can really screw you. How do you think of that, man? I mean, that's that's... I, you know Astounding, what? I, I have to be honest. I'm 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 in a pickle, but then again, you know, I don't follow the. Here he is in another crowd somewhere else. He's pointing in the audience and don't look at me because you're getting screwed next, Buster. <laughs> That's what he's saying there, man. Don't look at me. You're getting screwed next. Well, oh, politics. They're they're all crooked. Well, I don't give a especially shit. this Mitt Romney. It took <laughs> him. It took him all this time to release his 2011 tax return. He just just got it ready now. It's already freaking September 21st. Well, yeah, he's got to clean up his act. You know, how do we know this is the real one, man? He's making these birth certificate jokes about the uh, opposition, Barack Obama. They had this thing studied inside out, outside in, and uh, we should have Mitt Romney's tax return studied to make sure the guy's not bullshitting us, man. I'm tired of the mudslinging. You're We're tired in of the swing? same country. You know what? I just uh, listened to an interview on the Howard Stern show 
Uh, they had uh, Jesse Ventura, remember, the right. governor? The body. Yeah. Jesse the body Ventura. That yeah, guy's he, a smart guy, man. Yeah, he has. I'll put a plug out there for him, and I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong. He's calling it the Red Republicans and the Crip Democrats. He basically put, he's putting down both parties. He said, wipe them all out. Get well, them done. He said, enough of this shit. We are in the same country, and it, uh, uh, well, you see the commercials, constant mudslinging. This guy sucks. He does this. This guy sucks. He does. You know what, LG? Who do you believe? Who's telling the truth? Well, I can Who tell you, you this, man. If you walk into the Oval Office and you got handed a bunch of shit, it's like today. I saw a picture on the internet today. It was a picture of George Bush, and the caption said, ah, "You suckers fell for it. And you're blaming it on the black guy." Uh huh. You know? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and blame it on the black guy. Uh, yeah, well, you know, that's an easy uh, scapegoat there. Absolutely. George Bush left office. If you remember the stock market in 2008, which I'm sure you do, Mr. Leaf, oh, seeing I mean, how you're fully vested oh, in millions. the stock market. But if you remember the collapse of the stock market that took place in the multiple millions of people that got laid off in 2008, Barack Obama was not even in the Oval Office yet, man. Right. He was sworn in in January. Well, it was, it, it's been said a thousand times. The election times. went in 2008. He was handed a lot of shit. Most people would have turned and ran. Yeah. So how are you going to straighten this out? And if you look at all the numbers today, employment's picking up. For the first time in I don't know how many years, the housing numbers went up 8% in August of... of uh, People buying existing homes. 8% is a huge jump. Yeah, it is. You know, I got a lot of friends that were real estate people, and they were just about ready to, you know. Oh, real estate's been terrible to be in that. But can you imagine making your living on something like that, man? No, no, the, uh, real estate, is, it's still bad. Well, let's harp on the really? Romneys a little more. I hate to pick on Ann Romney because she's such an outstanding Mormon wife with multiple sclerosis on top of that. But Ann Romney, you see her here in this picture out in front of Met. She's always out in front of Met. I think she takes it in the uh, Hershey Highway, man. She's always you in really? front of Met. No kidding. Think about it, man. She was always, yeah, she's, she's always like, in front of him. Always pointing that booty back at that that uh, She shots. probably likes it doggy style, man. But oh, back, yeah. to, back to why I'm bringing up Ann Romney, uh, her private plane that she was traveling on. It's bad enough that the Republican Party has a private plane for Mitt Romney to travel all over. His wife right. got her own freaking private plane. <sighs> had to make an emergency landing in Denver this afternoon. She had the douche. Well, I think it might be related to the douche. They said that the cockpit filled with some kind of smoke and gases. Her cockpit. Her cockpit. Of her plane. The cockpit of the plane. Smoke and gases. Coming out of her cockpit. Okay, okay, gas is right there. It says she takes it up the ass. Well, if it's gas, what if she took her panties off and the and the problem was that she needed really a douche. <laughs> well, you, know, you brought it up a minute ago. I don't think you were that far off base. I'll tell you what. You know what? If you own your own private plane, you can have it land anytime you want for whatever fucking reason. Well, it was an emergency landing, man. I'd be sitting there, hey, pilot, I ain't got enough fucking weed. We, LG and I ran out. <laughs> Land the goddamn thing. Hurry up. <laughs> we need a couple of frogs. Land Matt in Romney's Vegas. Matt wife's cockpit filled with smoke this afternoon. <laughs> and they had to make an emergency landing in Denver. What does that tell you, Jeff? That the plane was fucked up. I think she was gangbanging the uh, uh, Mormon Tabernacle Choir somewhere, man. Dude, she was she was playing stewardess up there. They were doing little kinky shit, dressing up and a whatnot. thousand. What do you call it? The Mile High Club. Yeah, the Mile High. You ever do that, LG? I never had the opportunity yet. I don't get the fun. You never, you never screwed a, a woman up in a, a, the Mile High? Absolutely not, man. There's always a plane full of people on there. That's why you, you, you that, well, I hear of people, they sneak off in a, now you've been in you a bathroom. You freaking bathroom on an airplane. I don't, I don't give a shit if you're both anorexic. How the hell do you fucking want it up? And I'm going to tell you the truth. I try <laughs> and you my and I best. Get it. I try my best never to go into an airplane bathroom. I can probably say so far in my life, I've never been inside of an airplane bathroom. Oh, you know what? I've, I've been in them even when I, well, this is when I was younger. I went in one. I didn't even have to piss. 
I just wanted to go in and check it out. Yeah, I don't have the And then I'm looking do down that. there, and you know what? I don't like the shit. If I had the shit, well, I'll, I'd go, but I like the shit in water. And, you know, that's just stainless steel. And then that, you know, the blue shit. Hey, no. Uh-uh. You hit the little flapper and your shit blue goes. Shit well, you, you wouldn't one. know. You've never been in one. Well, I've seen them. I've walked by them, but. No, so that's really about it, man. I don't, I don't go in there. What are you looking over there for? Somebody breaking in? No, man. It's, uh, it's coming up on that time where we got to pay a few bills. For All right, well, pay some bills. You want to take them out? Of they this? gotta pay some more bills. Remember, I told you I got a race for doing this. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, here we are, streamingsportstalk.com. The you gotta be freaking kidding me show. We're gonna come back right after this short break. Don't go away. If you're out there, give us a call. Two one six. 672-4300. Maybe you got your own. You got to be freaking kidding me show you'd like to share. See you. We're back. We're hey. back with Marley. You got to be freaking kidding me, show. How you doing there, brother? You doing good? I'm doing everybody I can, and the easy ones twice. Well, I'm easy. No, never mind. I don't want to do you. Sorry. Hey, you know what? I heard this story on the way in. Shoot, baby. Germ Germany. Apparently, I, I mean, I can't verify this, but I heard. Okay, I heard. I'll give them a plug. The Alan Cox Show. They went ahead in Germany, pretty much outlawed. Here you go with Cox again. Yeah, but it's always Cox when you leave. I know. It always comes down to Cox. Are you sure you're not a closet homosexual? Absolutely not. I think you are, man. Mm. Everything comes down to oh. Cox with you. And LG, right now, you can't see him on film. He's Alan taking Cox. his pants off. Yeah, that's it. Work it. Do Alan it. Cox show. Do it. Do it. Alan Cox. There you go, man. Cox. 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 But go ahead. Germany, no circumcision. Yeah, they're they're uh, outlawing them. Why? Aren't they going back, getting back at the Jews for that or something? Why is that? What do you, I don't know. Because of health reasons? They say it's a, it's not good to keep that foreskin on there. You could get herpes. Uh, well, I heard that it's easier to get that kind of shit. Yeah, right. But, you know, the, 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 they're, STDs. they're not letting people have a choice. They're saying no. Uh, you know what? Like I said, I just heard this not too long ago. I don't know, a couple of hours ago. 
I don't know if it's What true. the hell are they going to do with all the guys that work at the hospitals running the circumcision machine, man? They're out of a job. They fucking better become paper More layoffs or something. More yeah. layoffs. More man. layoffs in Germany. And now it's going to sweep Europe, you know. They it. probably took those skins and they made a suitcase out of it. They got to travel somewhere now. Just like a little kitty. A four skin suitcase. A little kitty was born with no eyelids. They put the, you know, circumcision shit on his head. Make him eyelids. Did they really? Yeah, yeah he's a little cockeyed to this day. Ha ha ha. Sorry, that was a bad that was cockeyed. So why do you think these Germans don't want to have anybody circumcised, Leif? What's your take on this? The only thing I can uh, uh, realize is a uh, health reason of leaving that foreskin on. They say it's not good to. But are they making a law you have to get it, or are you making no, a law? No, no, they're making a law that you cannot perform circumcisions. You've so, got to leave the flapper on. So these people might have to travel to Switzer Switzerland or something. Yeah, right. Hey, it might be good for our business. They'll come back and there'll be all kinds of extra holes in their cock. You Can know you imagine what? it'd be like Swiss cheese if they go to Switzerland. Oh, no. no. I, you know what? Take a circumcision. Do. Here's a business for us, LG. We'll take a crash course on doing circumcisions. We'll go over there. There you are again, wanting to it'll, get close to the cock. It'll be a little. You're always wanting like, to get close to these it'll, cocks. It'll be a little. Hey, you know what? We'll char charge them what three, four hundred bucks a circumcision. I don't know what they charge, man. We'll sit there with our what did the juice call it? A simmel. Yeah, go ahead, snip them off. Boom, send the kid on his way. Done. Three hundred bucks. What do you think? They probably charge more than that for it. We got to learn German though. It's only Jews that are doing the circumcisions? No, I'm joking around about the Germans getting back at the Jews. Said, okay, we're not going to let you cut dick anymore. Yeah, but I mean, is this something around. that the Jews originally are the only ones that did it, or what? How did it? Uh, you know what? I do? All the history of that, that's a religious thing that uh, the Jews, you know, they're supposed to, yeah, they have to do it. It's part of their religion. Well, Catholic, you know, I had it done. That's part of the Catholic religion. All men will be circumcised. Young men. Well, I'll tell you what, the sexual diseases on the rise, which I hear they are, and I heard that it is highly more contagious if you do have the skin on there. Right. I guess it traps in these germs. No, then, you know what, then, if somebody's, I've heard this too, if they're not circumcised, they have to be educated enough, proper hygiene, to pull that skin back, clean that head real good, pour some tequila on it, kill all the germs, and you're on the way. Tequila. What are you talking about? Cheap shit. Toro. El Toro. Is that cheap shit? You ever drink that shit? I bought it. Oh, God. I thought that was the only tequila, man. I didn't um, I can't, No, come on. Now, there's a good one, uh, uh, Patron. And, I, you know, I don't drink a lot of booze. I always thought know, that, that uh, what do you call that shit that I bought? It had a little Mexican hat on the top. That is. Right? A, that is, it, that's, is that the one? It's got the little I think you can get Mexican hat on the bottle? I think you could get that three, three bucks a barrel. That is three oh, bucks a barrel. No, I'm bullshitting around. It's cheap. Probably in Mexico, you can get it for three bucks a barrel. And probably. Leif, I don't know if you saw this today, but you remember, remember that Cato Kalin guy? Yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, OJ. OJ Simpson. Yeah, the... The OJ Simpson murder. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, OJ was... What's he up to now? Allegedly I, accused. I can, I can hardly wait to hear this story about Cato. He's but, always good for himself. <laughs> I know, man. Listen to this shit. OJ, who was allegedly accused of brutally murdering his ex-wife, Nicole Simpson, and her estranged lover, Mr. Goldman. Is that his name? Ron Goldman? Yeah. So Kevin Kate. What, what Cato. Is Cato. Cato. Kate, Cato Kalin came out today. I got his picture up right here for the people out there. When he was on the stand 18 years ago in the O.J. Simpson murder trial. God, it's been that long. Yeah. So Cato comes out today after 18 years and saying, I really think O.J. probably did it. So in other words, what you I think? think? Hey. You really think so, Cato? No, you know what I think? Cato's, Cato hasn't been in the limelight for a while. He's running out of money. Wouldn't you do the same thing? Come up, even if it's bullshit, he comes up with it, they're all going to be on his ass. Oh, we want to interview you. Hey, oh, this show, that show. We'll give you 18, 10 grand. Come on. 18 years later. That's Cato what he's Kalen, doing. That's what this country's about. He comes about. out, the freeloading son of a bitch that he was living behind OJ's house. And he wants to he keep comes out. Him. Here's OJ. The glove don't fit. You must have quit. Oh, my okay? God, what a line that was. And, you know, this is the year of O.J. being in the news. A little while back, some guy came out with a book, and it was supposedly telling you that uh, he believes O.J.'s son did 
did the murders. Not OJ. <laughs> and okay. The one trying to suck then a week or two ago, the prosecutor came out. The big black guy. I don't remember what his name was. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. The pro. Uh, Oh, the, wait, the prosecutor for the OJ? Right. One of the prosecutors for oh, the OJ Oh, one case. of the prosecutors, because I'm thinking of the broad. I'm well, sorry. Well, that was Marsha. Uh, yeah. Marsha, I, I need my vagina packed, whatever the hell her last name That's was. Right. She, she hasn't had a good stucking in years. She was always real uptight. She, you could tell she took it up the ass. Marsha Clark. That's it. Okay. Marsha Clark. Clark right? Was that her name? I think so. So the black guy, what the hell was his name? He came out a couple weeks ago. And he's saying that he thinks the reason the glove didn't fit and you had to acquit was because during a lunch break, he thinks Johnny Cochran messed with the lining inside these gloves. What the fuck? What did he do? He had a seamstress or a sewing machine out in this car? And he messed with them? Well, first of all... put a couple of stitches in here, so it won't fit. First of all, Jeff, you've heard of proper procedures and arrests, correct? Yeah. In the chain of custody, right? Pretty much. So what are you telling me? You said, here, Johnny Cochran, take these gloves to lunch with you and see yeah. how bad you can fuck them up. Yeah, right. So they won't fit on O.J.'s hands. Exactly. Right. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Here's the murder weapon. By the way, take it with you, and you can exchange it for another one. Go I ahead. think that this trial took so much out of these prosecutors that they still haven't come back to reality yet. They are totally fried, man. I'll tell you, you know what, another one. But uh, wait, what, let's, what, let's finish this about okay, Cato. Finish this you're telling me Kato. you think the only reason Cato's doing it is because he needs money, right? Absolutely. Well, I guarantee it. Cato has his own sports show out there on the West Coast in L.A. somewhere. And it's not doing too good, so he Kato needs more Kato money. Kato. Kato, more money so I continue. think the only reason he's doing it is because O.J.'s in prison for something totally unrelated to the Nicole Simpson murder <laughs> and Ron <laughs> Goldman brutal killing that OJ allegedly LG. don't you love that word Jeff allegedly. allegedly 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 they got the guy in Chardon the 17 year old kid he's going to turn 18 any minute they yeah. want to put him in adult custody now the police seen him with the gun there's dead students in the school right. students being life flight at the Metro Hospital allegedly, allegedly he was the killer Allegedly, the Allegedly. Chardon High School shooter. He's not even listed as a killer yet. No, right. I don't even think you can list him when he's still allegedly innocent until proven guilty. Allegedly, he in shot a court him. Of law. Allegedly, Allegedly, he Allegedly. shot him. Now, here's one of speaking of guilt. Back to OJ. What I don't understand, and you know enough lawyers. In fact, you worked with it a little bit. We'll go answer, back to answer me this one. It always boggled my mind. Okay, whether he's guilty or not, everybody's got their opinion on that with OJ. They, in a court of law, the the jury, they said he's innocent, right? They acquitted he was him. In, he acquitted him. Absolutely. Now they come back and did that, the civil lawsuit, and took all of his money, everything? That That is not right to me, LG. Why? Well, but he was you. already proven. He was already proven not guilty. Okay, goodbye. I'll Move. tell you that, that. I've always said that. I mean, when you... It's bullshit. Because... Theoretically, I mean, speaking, I'm not defending the guy. I no, mean, but theoretically speaking, that could happen to me and you. Right. We could go out of here tonight, be arrested for something that we really honestly didn't do, yeah. go through a trial and become acquitted, Right. and then we're going to get a civil suit against us? I've never agreed with that. What it, think, it did, uh, well, thank you. I mean, I, and like I never said. Never once did I ever agree with that. Whether you think, you know, uh, whether he's guilty or not, he, uh, our court system said he's not guilty to me. That was it. They're taking away his Heisman Trophy. They're taking away this and that. All his money. They took care of a civil lawsuit, my ass. That That's horseshit. So, well, that's so in other the words, problem with this It's country. almost like, to me, it's like double jeopardy. It is exactly. It is. But, they're, they're, you know, you can't be retried for the same crime once you're acquitted. So, obviously, the criminal courts no longer had any jurisdiction over the O.J. Alleged murders of alleged, Nicole Simpson alleged. and Ron Goldberg. Alleged. Right? Right. But they filed the civil suit, which I think you should not be allowed to file a no, civil suit not at all. if you have been found not guilty Ex in a criminal case. Exactly. Because as I said, it How could many happen. Times does this happen? It could happen to me and you. Well, you know, like I said, I mean, OJ's a prominent individual. Of course, it was, you know, nationwide, everybody watching this. And. 
That was the first time I heard about this, and I was like, wait a minute. You know what kills me, though? What is the point of Ryan Goldberg's father pursuing this criminal, uh, uh, pursuing the civil suit? You could give the guy anything under the sun here. It's not going to bring back Ron Goldman. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. So what is the sense of prolonging your... Well, I mean, did the guy yeah. really get that kind of satisfaction out of getting O.J.'s Heisman Trophy? Well, you know what? Well, he didn't get the trophy, but all that shit had to be returned, were sold, dot of whatever. And, it, you know, I think it Unless is Unless you look at it like this, now O.J.'s in jail, and I don't remember how many years he got for being stupid enough to get in his gang together and breaking in under gunpoint that was in Las point. Vegas to get his personal belongings back. Was it a setup to get this dumb son of a bitch a incarcerated dope. sooner or later? What a dope. You know, that that was the biggest thing that I've always thought about O.J. Simpson was when these murders allegedly took place. Allegedly. The alleged murders. That's right. The thing I always thought was, is this guy really that freaking stupid? Pretty much. And you know what? I even be, Really, before this Las Vegas thing and he went to jail... It was after, you know, the trial and the civil suit and this and that. <laughs> I'll never forget whatever newscast. They're filming him. He's, he's on a golf cart. You can see he's wearing, you know, top dollar clothes or whatever. And he's playing at whatever country club. And he's sitting there going, I ain't got no money. I'm broke. I am broke. I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm broke, too. I go, I'm making money. I ain't sitting in no country club. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, they're broke. <laughs> And our broke is obviously two different. Yeah, right. Oh actions. shit! I only got five million left right. in the bank. Right. Down to my last two mil. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, we're gonna take a short Good break. Point. We're gonna come back right here on StreamingSportsTalk.com with more of the you gotta be kidding, freaking oh freaking kidding me, kidding me show yeah. right here on StreamingSportsTalk.com. <laughs> Call in two one six six seven two four three zero zero.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the You Gotta Be Freaking Kidding Me show at StreamingSportsTalk.com. My name's Jeff, the good doctor, and my buddy over there behind the wheels of steel, LG. And LG, uh, from what I understand, we've got a special guest on the phone. Yes, I have, lead us in? I don't I have uh, Varice, who is a professional provider, joining us right here on the You Gotta Be Freaking Kidding Me show. Varice, can you hear us? Yes. How are you this evening, sweetheart? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, very well, very well. So tell us a little bit about, you know, what it's like to be a professional provider, would you? Uh, it's really busy most of the time. Um, and you don't, you don't show, have... There's the show America's Dirtiest Jobs. Uh, I think being a provider should be on that show. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't these? I already, I already like her, Varice. I love you. <laughs> and by the way, Varice, you don't have to worry about any language or whatever on this show. You say whatever you want. Okay. And we'll try. We'll try to be nice. But if we get too bad, okay, you could yell at us. We're tough. Oh, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> so, so Varice, when you say that that this profession could really go on to Americans' dirtiest jobs. Uh, would you do Ford truck commercials if they let you host that show too? Absolutely. <laughs> so, <laughs> when you say it, it should go on the America's dirtiest jobs, though, what what are you referring to? Give us the down and dirty about yeah, this we're, provider we're, profession. We're not about to say anything here. You know, we'll let you say it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna put it this way: you would be amazed at the amount of men who do not know how to take care of their own personal hygiene. Oh, that's disgusting. Ugh. That's disgusting. Oh, jeez. Well, do you turn these uh, people away? Um, well, once you're already in the situation, it's more like slap on some lube in a condom and oh. breathe through your mouth. Yikes. Oh, man, that's pretty bad, isn't Poor it? Poor Maurice. Jeez. Maurice, give us a little bit about your background and your history. What what made you turn into a professional provider, man? Or man? Uh, uh? I could go into a long, the long, complicated uh, psychological oh. reasoning behind it, but... Uh, Do you enjoy um, what you're doing? I enjoy the money. Okay, how, how long have you been doing it, Maurice? Being a personal well, I'm provider. Th I'm 38 now, and I started doing this. I started working for X Industry at about 18. At about 18? Mm -hmm. So oh. really, about 18 years you've been doing it, maybe 20 yeah. years. I'm a seasoned team. No, so in other words, it's probably just a job now as far as enjoying it. I mean, I don't care what you do. <laughs> you get bored of whatever it is. But the world's yeah, the dirtiest it, job. It, it, it gets old. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, Varese, let me ask you, uh, in, in your 20 years of being a provider, what are some of the craziest things that people have ever asked you to provide them? Um, I have a uh, client that I've known for about 15 years, and he uh, enjoys drinking and eating urine and defecation. Oh, my oh. God, that's disgusting. Really? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there's, I, a lot, there's a lot of other disgusting things too. Oh, geez. So wait, 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 wait a minute. He that. likes he likes you to defecate on him or whatever and pee on him. Yeah, yeah. I squat right over his face and. Oh my gosh, you make, are. Make a, you, I'm 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 calling Mike Rowe. I know him personally. I'm going to call him up. You are going on world's dirtiest jobs 
Triple X. <laughs> <laughs> I think we I think we got a new show going here. <laughs> I deserve now, it. Now, now Varese, do the you world get, should know. Do you get paid extra when you have to defecate on somebody's face? Um, I, I know I've done this guy for a long time, so. Oh, it's just that you throw it in. <laughs> it was really hard to. It, 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 it took a lot of time to be able to actually perform that act. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I can't imagine. Okay, what did you feel the first time? Maybe it's this client, another one. Okay, sweetheart, what do you want to do? Well, you know what? I'd really like you to shit on my face. <laughs> what did? What, what was your reaction? She probably, she probably thought, it sit, start out that way. sit on his it's face. A, yeah, it didn't start out that way. Oh, I spit on people's faces. I've what spit I've on them? Done everything. Well, spit on them, okay. But I mean, you know what? To me, poop has got to be the worst. I'm. Right. I, you know what? I don't want. I'm sorry. I don't want nobody. No woman. I don't care how pretty she is. And I imagine That's you're a pretty woman. Please poop on me. No, I think yeah, neither do I. Neither do I. Yeah. Um, I, I think the first time that I actually was able to do it, I, I think I cried. Yeah, I can I'm imagine. cry as soon as we hang up. <laughs> I feel I feel terrible that you have to be put in these situations. I'm mean, here in this. Uh, I don't here in this. I don't think I'll be able to poop tonight. But anyway, go ahead. It's, um, it, it, I it's my choice. Well, well let yeah, me ask you, right. Has the economy slowed down the professional provider business or not? No. So even though we're in a lull in the economy and they talk about people are having a hard time finding work, your job no has stayed consistently busy throughout the entire... <laughs> mm -hmm. You have no, no, no drop-off at all? No. Well, well, wouldn't you think at times like this, you know what, like they say even like, okay... The professional provider business, alcohol bars, and also um, hairdressers. At times when economy is bad, no matter what, those things people are going to buy. They're going to get. They're going to because hey, they ain't working. They're depressed. It's like okay, I need to go ahead and get shit on, or I need to go get drunk, <laughs> or I need to go get my hair done. I've been well, depressed and I never thought about and I, doing. Well, that wait a minute. Before. I put the wrong order. Get drunk first. Maybe okay, I could have somebody shit on me. I'm drunk enough. Now I go get my hair done because I need the shit cleaned out. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sorry, for you know. If he doesn't actually eat it, uh, I don't want to ejaculate. That's disgusting, disgusting. Uh, Let's get yeah. off of that talk, Leaf. We'll get away from the talk. <laughs> yeah, I know. Poor, well, but, <laughs> poor Maurice. Maurice, what is the typical charge for providing the services that you provide? 200 Two hundred dollars is for how long? One hour. And then, and then, what does that include? If we may be so rude to ask you. Um. I, well, I don't. Uh, I don't do uh, any anal, and I don't do anything bareback. Right. Well, you gotta keep protected these oh, days. Oh, I mean, God! Yeah, you don't know these dirty bastards coming in like you said before. For crying. I wouldn't. Out. I wouldn't be around still if uh, I w didn't believe in. Protection. Right. Now let me ask you a question. Is there any way that you could tell these people get in the fucking shower before you come in here and try to fuck me? Yeah. Uh, I'm at the point now where I'm pretty comfortable with being able to state that uh, I'm going to go to the wash cloth and soap it and I'm going to clean you up. Uh, yeah. So, I was about to say, make it like a spa at the brothel. Put a steam shower in there. Slap them on the ass, say, get in there and clean that dirty <laughs> rascal. And hurry up. Close them down. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, go get cleaned up before I shit on you. Hurry up. <laughs> well, listen, Varese, we really, really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule. To Absolutely, Varese. Spend some time on the You Gotta Be Frickin' Kidding Me show. And I just wanted to know, you know, your profession has definitely stayed steady through the uh, economic slowdown. What president would you vote for? When it comes time for the election, do you have a personal choice? I I haven't I I don't I haven't even um, debated. You're not um, you're not sure yet. Is no, what you're saying. I, I I I wish I had better choices. 
Well, yeah, so, you know, I think, oh, yeah. I think a lot right. of people are saying that right now. I mean, if you think about it, Mitt Romney's the guy the Republican Party threw out four years ago. Now they now they got him back, so they're running out of guys to put up there. But you're right, you're right, Varese. These people are uh, definitely not worthy of uh, being in the Oval Office, and we ran out of choices a long time ago. So even though you're busy providing your services, you're still aware enough to know there's no good choice out there right now. That's that's very astute of you. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, listen, you have a great night, and we'll talk to you again maybe sometime soon if we could call you back in a week or two. Who knows? Is that okay? Yeah, you, you can give me a call any time. Just have the $200 ready. 200 Oh, oh we got we got to pay 200 bucks to talk with her now. <laughs> Hey, wait, I'm going to put But again, we, can't, wait, give her, we gonna, can't give her any plugs or anything. Does anybody call you up for phone sex, Um, uh, Sometimes, but who, I've never been stupid enough to do that. Well, give us a little example of what you would do. Oh, jeez, here he goes. Now Why, I wouldn't. No, what you would do if they called you for phone She's going to send us a bill. You, would you shut up all over there? Yeah, I would, uh, I would, I would just tell the person, that's ridiculous. How am I supposed to do phone sex with you? I get paid $200 an hour. How do you expect me to collect my well, rate? Yeah, you'd have to have a 1-800 number set up and all that. And, you know, I get their credit card up front, that's how. That's right. Yeah, that's just too much hassle for me. You know what you uh, tell like them? Hard cash. Here's what you there tell you them, Maurice. If they say, hey, I want to have phone sex, you go like this. Fine, stick the phone up your ass and start without <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Here's your phone sex. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do next time someone calls me up for phone sex. Okay, well remember you got it from LG on the You Gotta Be Freaking Kidding Me show, okay? That's right. All right, babies. All right, well thanks a lot. And if you want to see the You Gotta Freaking Be Freaking Kidding Me show, just Log on to StreamingSportsTalk.com every Friday night at 8 o'clock. We're here, okay? All right. All right, Varese, have a great night and uh, stay safe out there while you're providing those, right. those services, okay? Thank you. All right, God bless you. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There you have it, Leaf. Well, that a was pretty good. Well, yeah, you, you know what? And I got to tell the folks out there, that was a that real phone call. was no setup. That was an actual call. During the break, LG mentioned it to me. He goes, hey. What do you say we call a personal provider? And I said, I what the fuck is a personal provider? I didn't say that. I know, he didn't say that. He said something else. So let's call him some She's a personal provider. Let's stick to it. And he called her up, and she said, oh, yeah, she'll go online. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was fun. A little insight to what's You imagine on. that, though, being, a, being a, in that profession and, well, and, you know and, and wanting to be pooped on and eat it? Come on, I don't want to talk about that. That is most – let's – you know, come okay, on. Okay, we'll change the subject. Let's yeah, move on. That's disgusting. That was, I don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> I can't believe she actually talked to us. Yeah, on, that was pretty cool. Telephone, but we got to take a break and pay some bills. That's right. Right here on the You Gotta Be Freaking Kidding Me show. <laughs> when we come back, after who the hell knows what we're going to do next? We're going to come up with another phone call. <laughs>
Welcome back to the You Gotta Be Frickin' Kidding Me show. Yeah, and after that last phone call, I think somebody is freaking kidding us. <laughs> hey, I, we wanna I, think, I think we're done. We're, <laughs> we're going to get fired. <laughs> I want to put a big thank you out to Maurice for taking time out of her busy schedule to share her personal provider information with yeah, us. It was. That, was, that was interesting. A little gross. I'm but a, you know what? I don't go there. I don't put her down. I don't put her down. You know, I mean, she tro- like she said. It's a profession I chose, and this is what I do. You know, it's just well, <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. That's what would you feel? What would you feel, LG, if you you know you picked up a? a not, I'm not talking a personal provider or anything. Picked up some broad, you know, your things are going good. Couple of drinks at the bar, oh, and, that. and then she, you get back home, and you guys are sitting there bumping uglies, and she looks at you and whispers in your, "Hey, LG, I want you to shit on me." Come on, Leaf. Don't even go there, please. Hey, LG. I don't want to talk about it. LG, no, man. LG, I want to eat your poopy. Please, Leaf. Why do you could have you, to go there? LG, could you this put on... This show cannot LG. go to that extent LG. of grossness. Man. LG, could you put on this pair of Depends? Oh, they don't have your size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the big could you, nuts. Could you the put... big nuts I got yeah. won't fit in oh, a diaper. <laughs> LG, LG. I'm going to get one of them diapers that are crotchless for the nuts to <laughs> yeah. hang out. LG. Could you poop in a diaper and give it to me? It'll be my lunch for Come tomorrow. Come on, Leif, please. Don't go there. I <laughs> Are you about you, to throw up? I asked you nice. Yes, I'm going to puke, man. <laughs> There's only so much LG can take, and that ain't... LG. LG. That ain't included. LG, I have Come to... Come we can't go jam. to that fucking level of nastiness. LG, man. I have toe jam. Will you go ahead and now, turn to me on when a whole different thing, man. I mean, that's... Well, yeah, that is. You know, I mean, come there on. are people running around with some kind of foot fetishes, which I don't even understand that either. Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, they fucking want... sick bastards. They get off on looking at people's feet. Yeah, yeah. Licking and they them, to, kissing they them. suck on them, lick yeah. them. Unbelievable. Put them in high heels and all that stuff. I wonder stuff. if you can get what an athlete's you? mouth by doing <laughs> it. Athlete's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> what happened you? I'm not with you. You're talking like this. Uh, what happened to you? I had a foot fetish. Athlete's mouth. I'll be on a TV show like you that. Gotta, you got to put one of them flip-flops on your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're walking the YMCA show. <laughs> 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 Stuff doesn't take center. <laughs> Hang on a minute, you honey. <laughs> <laughs> you got to put a flip-flop on your tongue like you're walking the YMCA <laughs> show when you have those foot fetishes so you don't get athlete's tongue. <laughs> What's that shit you put on your athlete's foot? That's the next? Yeah. Is that what it was? Uh, yeah, I think I just put some the next in my mouth. Yeah, that's right. The shit because probably sprays out like powder. I, you could freaking choke to death, man. I am probably, but I, I have an athlete mouth. Unbelievable. Uh, but you know what? Look how astute, what? look how astute she was that she knew the Republicans didn't put up a very good candidate to vote for president. Oh, yeah, she Even though right. she spends most of her time riding the baloney pony into Tuna Town. Oh, come on. Be nice to Varese, you know. Jeez. I'm saying she knows, she knows. Well, yeah, it doesn't, mean she, it doesn't mean she's dumb. I didn't say she was. No, dumb. no, but I, I mean, I'm saying, you know, I mean, I'm sure she's intelligent. It's just the profession she chose, whether we think it's sick or not. Yeah, I think it's a hell of a good living. Two hundred dollars an hour. When's uh, the last time you made two hundred dollars an hour besides now? Well, I, when I pooped on a girl's face. Come on, Leaf. That's she, disgusting. <laughs> I asked you don't go there. Again. I know, but you know what? Hey, what did I tell you last week? That's my job. The fuck with you. I know, but there's people that watch this show that won't be able to put up with that stuff, and they won't watch it no more. Okay, what do you want to talk? You can't go to that extent. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. There's people that don't want to talk about that stuff, and you're the one. Hey, Leaf. 
what do you say we call a personal provider? And then you're the one that asked her the questions. What's the sickest thing you had that I didn't think it was You went be. there. I did I you right. went there. In my wildest imagination. You opened Pandora's box. I guess <laughs> In I this did. case, for Reese's box. <laughs> I don't think it was her box oh, there. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's coming, that's that. the magic choo choo Disgusting right stuff, man. Oh, well, see, you're talking about it again. But you know what? I mean, this is a sick that, that just shows We're fired. you what kind of life I lead. I never would have anticipated an answer like that. Oh, yeah. Next time, I'm going to be more careful the way I phrase the question. You never, uh, you know what? I, I got to tell you. In all my years of a journalism. A sheltered life. Hey, you know, in all my years of journalism expertise, I never thought I was going to get an answer to a question quite like that. LG, I'll tell you what. I, as soon as those words came out of your mouth, what's the sickest thing you ever done? I just sat here in my head. My eyes were rolling going, I know something with poopy is going to come up. I you know. would know that kind of thing. I oh, would. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I'm, oh, I'm, I would know that well, kind of thing. Why would I know that kind of thing? Why don't you tell me, huh? You're, you're always oh, talking about I'm not, Oh, I'm always talking about what? About shit. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. Right on Facebook. I'm hey. taking a poop. Well, I'm taking a poop. Beth I'm goes, not, not goes, pooping in hey, somebody's face. Beth goes, what the hell's wrong with Leaf? <laughs> <laughs> I said, obviously, he doesn't have bowel restriction. Yeah, that's right. So we can scratch that off the list. Well, of they got it wrong with Leaf. Oh, yeah, you don't have the picture up there. Speaking of poop, be perfect timing to have that. Uh, one picture I got when I Facebooked at me and my buddy and have us both pooping. You know that picture. Yeah. That would have been perfect right now to show that. Well. It ain't up there. We'll get you a date with Varese. <laughs> I think I'll pass. Okay? I mean, okay. Nice lady. This and that. Enjoy your profession. No, I will not be calling up. You notice how right away? Hey, Varese, this is you talking. Hey, you know what? Maybe in a couple of weeks we could call you again. Yeah, it'll cost you two hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, how is it by? Uh, you know how are we? She's gonna probably fit that? Gonna, she's probably going to send us a bill for this one. How are we going to fit that in the budget? <laughs> Shit, yeah, especially discreet, after I got a raise. Discreet billing. <laughs> discreet <laughs> billing. <laughs> yeah, it's called cash here. Hey, you know, it was one of those help wanted ads I answered right now. That's all. I yeah, said, right. hey, let's call this girl up and see what the hell's going on right. in her world. Yeah. You know, but it's just good to show you, no matter how bad the economy is, these people find a way to make money. Right. It's like my brother told me one time. If he was born with a vagina, he'd be a millionaire by now. <laughs> or if we had a 12-inch schwanz. What would that do? Uh, being pornos. You think women would buy that? Yeah. Women absolutely. would go, I'm going to call this guy to come over and give me Escort a service. Stuckin'. Hell yeah. Male escorts, they got yeah, yeah. Oh, They got come, male come escorts. Come on. You, you, wait a minute. You really are naive, aren't you? I'm telling you, man. They've had male I'm escorts. You, you know what? You look it up online. Yeah, you could get a guy. You know, there's some of these ladies out there who are wealthy, and, they, and vice versa. But older ladies, you know, they want to go to, you know, they're going to uh, one of their big-time champagne parties or whatnot. Well, they want this young stud all ripped and everything. And not exactly sex or anything, but they want to go. Oh, look at what I've got! <laughs> you don't know. You don't know that. They just go to the country club with this. Yeah, they go to them. They this, might have sex later, but you know what? I'm with not, this it, eye candy it, on it, your arm going. It's really <laughs> well. They're they're renting. Money can't buy me love. They're but renting. You can sure, rent it. They're renting the stud. Look at they walk in and they got this stud, you know, bowing down to her, taking care of her. And, you know, all her friends are jealous, which they already know. Gee, I wonder how much they paid him. You know, I mean, it, it doesn't. I know, I, I know a guy, I won't even say where the guy's name or what. Uh, he brought an escort in, a girl, and I know there's no way in hell this guy, uh, you know, picked her up and they fell in love and all that. And, and nothing was said, but you know, you know he paid her money. Got to wrap it up, LG. We're getting ready, baby. Yeah, good. Well, we've talked so enough of it. Finish the story, real well. Quick, anyway, though. you, 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 money, you, you, you know damn well. I know damn well that he he paid this. He he got an escort. I mean, the girl was gorgeous. You know, high heels, tight jeans, nice boobies, and all that. Hair all done up. You know damn well he paid her. But you know what? And, and God bless him. He wanted something on his arm at this party that looked good. And you know what? It did. It was great. Okay, have a great day. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, it just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, even though the economy has slowed down, what was her name, Jeff? Varese. Varese is still working. So yep. if you're one of those 47% of Americans who would be stupid enough to vote for Mitt Romney 
in the upcoming election. Remember, he thinks you're not getting enough sex, and if you vote him into the Oval Office, he'll screw you good. So make sure you avoid it at, at all costs, because we don't want to be stuck with that. Do we, Leaf? Absolutely not. All right, LG. That's going to wrap it up for this week's yeah, show. No, we're no, no, no. for next week, Leaf. LG, I had a good time. Me too, man. What you, what, let... What's going to come down next week? Give us a little I preview. I don't know. I, I think next week we're going to go ahead and practice pooping together. No, man. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> we're going to cancel the show if we bring that up again. The show will be canceled. But that's it for this week's edition of the You Gotta Be Freaking Kidding Me show. Remember, folks. You can see us here live each and every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The number to call in is 216-672-4300. Again, that number is 216-672-4300. Jeff, say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody, and have a great night, and thanks a lot. Hopefully we, well, no, hopefully we did offend a few people, so that. <laughs> and we'll see you right back here again next Friday night. Give us a call, 216-672-4300. Right here on StreamingSportsTalk.com. Bye.